This is Ben. He is growing up living with HIV. He wants to know more about the cure for HIV. You might have seen in the news that a handful of people have been cured of HIV. This does not mean that there's a general cure for everyone who lives with HIV. Not yet, anyway. The people who've been cured also had a life-threatening cancer and had a stem cell transplant in order to treat that cancer. A stem cell or bone marrow transplant is a procedure that can help replace damaged blood cells. Stem cells are found in the bone marrow, the spongy tissue in the centre of some bones, and are able to turn into different kinds of blood cells. For cancer patients, transplants from a healthy donor can help replace the blood cells lost or damaged by intensive treatments such as chemotherapy or radiotherapy. In the cases of those cured of HIV, the people found to donate their stem cells also had a very special type of cell resistant to HIV. This is very rare. It meant that after the procedure, the people who received the transplant could use the donor stem cells to rebuild a new HIV resistant immune system and they no longer had any HIV in their bodies, or were able to control the virus without treatment. Stem cell transplants are extremely risky. It can take up to a year to recover from them. Some patients have died. So it would never be recommended for a healthy person who lives with HIV and manages their condition with medication. How close are we to developing a cure for everyone? Well, HIV is very difficult to get rid of completely from the body, even when someone is taking daily medication and has an undetectable viral load. This means the HIV is being prevented from replicating, and there's so little HIV it's hard to detect and impossible to pass on to anyone else through sex. Even then, although harmless and at a very low level, the HIV will still be laying dormant in certain cells. These are immune system cells that are only activated by a certain virus, bacteria, or other pathogen they have already seen and are sensitive to. They form what's called the HIV reservoir and are mainly found in the lymph nodes, gut, and spleen. It means there are millions of cells where the HIV could potentially be hiding. This makes developing a cure very difficult, but it doesn't mean it won't happen sometime in the future. Scientists are working hard. In the meantime, taking medication every day stops HIV from damaging someone's health. It keeps people living with HIV perfectly healthy throughout their lives and much less likely to pass the virus on to others. And new developments like injectables, where an injection every few months replaces daily pills, are already making this treatment easier to manage. Find out more about HIV and how it's prevented and treated at chiva.org.uk forward slash my medicine my health